day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Quick Math Tutorials. Today, we are going to learn about permutation. Permutation means each possible arrangement, or it is arrangement of all or part of a set of objects. It is denoted by P, open parenthesis, N, comma, R, close parenthesis, or in some books we have sub n p sub r or p sub r to the power of n this can be read as the permutation of n distinct objects taken r at a time for example we have the letters a b and c we will arrange two of its letters so what will be the possible outcome we have a b b a c a AC, BC, and CB. So we have a total of six possible arrangements of its two letters. Or, what if we will arrange all of its letters? So we have ABC, BAC, CBA, ACB, BCA, and CAB. We also have a total of six possible arrangements of its three letters. But how will we know the number of its possible arrangement or the number of permutation? So there are four formulas that can be used in solving the number of permutations depending on the problem given. So we have our first formula, the fundamental counting principle. So the formula is the permutation of n distinct objects taken r at the time is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to n minus r plus 1, where n is the number of objects given and r is the number of objects to be arranged. Now, for our first example, we have given the four-letter word read in how many ways can we arrange its letters three at a time. So for our solution, since there are four letters in the word read, so Rn is equal to four and R is equal to three since we are asked to arrange three letters at a time. And since an our R is equal to three, then we will write three blanks. So we have one, two and three. For the first blank, how many choices of letters do we have? Yes, we have four. For the second blank, suppose there is already one letter on the first blank, so how many choices do we have left? Yes, we have three. And for the third blank, suppose there is already one letter for the first and one letter for the second, so how many choices do we have now? Yes, we have now two. For our next step, we will just multiply them. So we have the permutation of four distinct letters taken three letters at a time is equal to four times three times two, which is equal to 24. Thus, there are 24 possible ways of arranging the four letters of read, taking three of them at a time. For our second example, 10 runners join a race. In how many possible ways can they be arranged as first, second, and third placers? So, for our solution, Rn is equal to 10, since there are 10 runners. And RR is equal to 3, since we will arrange them as first, second, and third placers. Now, since RR is equal to 3, so we will have again 3 blanks. For our first blank, how many choices of runners that could win for the first place? Yes, we have 10. For our second blank, suppose there is already one runner won the first place. How many choices of runners could win for the second place? Yes, we have nine. For the third blank, 
suppose there is already a winner for the first placer and for the second, so how many choices of runners do we have for the third placer? Okay, we have eight. So for our next step, we will multiply them. So the permutation of the 10 runners taken three runners at a time is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to 720. Thus, there are 720 possible ways of arranging the 10 runners as a first, second, or third placers. Now, let's have our second formula, which is the n factorial. The formula is just equal to n factorial. So what do you mean by factorial? So here it is. For example, we have 3 factorial. So we will just multiply from 3 up to 1. So we have 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 6. Another example is 5 factorial. So again, we will multiply from 5 up to 1. So we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. We have now 10 factorial, which is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 3,628,800. And last, we have the 0 factorial, which is just equal to 1. This formula is used if all of the given objects will be arranged. For example, in how many ways can five people arrange themselves in a row for a picture taking? So our n here is equal to 5, and since we will arrange all of them, so our r is equal to 5. For our solution, using the formula of n factorial, by substitution, we have 5 factorial. And since we already know what is 5 factorial, we will just multiply 5 up to 1, which is equal to 120. For our next example, we have, In how many ways can Aling Rosa arrange 6 potted plants in a row? So for our solution, our n is equal to 6. And since all of the six potted plants will be arranged, so our r is e also equal to 6. So using the formula for the n factorial, we will substitute the value of n so we have the 6 factorial. And 6 factorial is just multiplying from 6 up to 1. So this is equal to 720. And for our third formula, we have the distinguishable permutation. So the formula is just p is equal to n factorial divided by p factorial, q factorial, r factorial, and so on. So this formula is used if the given problem involves a word that has a repeating letters. For example, Find the numbers of permutations of the letters of the word statistics. So, for our solution, our n is equal to 10, since there are 10 letters in the word statistics. And the repeating letters are S, I, and T. S is equal to 3, since S appeared 3 times. So, we have 1, 2, and 3 i is equal to 2 since i appeared 2 times. We have 1 and 2. t is equal to 3 since t appeared 3 times. We have 1, 2, and 3. Now, using the formula, we have p is equal to n factorial divided by the repeating letters. We have s factorial i factorial and t factorial. By substitution, our n is equal to 10 factorial, our s is equal to 3, our i is equal to 2, and our t is equal to 3. Now, let's simplify 
we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 factorial is just equal to 3 times 2 times 1 times the 2 factorial we have 2 times 1 times the 3 factorial we have 3 times 2 times 1. And we have 3,628,800 divided by 72, which is equal to 50,400. For our next example, we have find the number of permutations of the letters of the word mathematics. So for our solution, Rn is equal to 11 since there are 11 letters in the word mathematics. And the repeating letters are M, A, and T. M is equal to 2 since M appeared 2 times. We have 1 and 2. A is equal to 2 since A appeared 2 times. We have 1 and 2. T is equal to 2 since T appeared 2 times. We have 1. 2. Using the formula, we have n factorial divided by the repeating letters. We have m factorial, a factorial, and t factorial. By substitution, the value of n is equal to 11, m is equal to 2, a is equal to 2, and t is equal to 2. Now, to simplify, we have 11 factorial is just equal to 11 times 10 times 9 up to 1. And for the 2 factorial, we have 2 times 1 times the 2 factorial, we have 2 times 1 times the 2 factorial, we have 2 times 1. So which is equal to 39,916,800 divided by 8, which is equal to 4,989,600. And for our last formula, we have the circular permutation. So the formula is just equal to P, which is equal to open parenthesis, N minus 1, close parenthesis, factorial. So this formula is used if the given problem involves arranging the objects in a circular formation. For example, in how many ways can three people be seated around a circular table? So for our solution, Rn is equal to 3. Using the formula, we have P is equal to N minus 1 factorial. By substitution, N is equal to 3, so 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2 factorial. And 2 factorial is just 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And for our last example, we have, In how many ways can 7 people be seated around a circular table? So for our solution, Rn is equal to 11. Using the formula, P is equal to N minus 1 factorial. By substitution, n is equal to 7 minus 1, which is equal to 6 factorial. And 6 factorial is just 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 720. So, to sum it up, we have four formulas that can be used in solving the number of permutations depending on the problem given. First, we have the fundamental counting principle. We have the permutation of n distinct objects taken r at a time is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to n minus r plus 1. Second is n factorial, which is just equal to n factorial. Again, this formula is used if all of the given objects will be arranged. Third, distinguishable permutation. P is equal to n factorial divided by the repeating letters. We have P factorial, Q factorial, 
r factorial, and so on. So this formula is used if the given problem involves a word that has a repeating letters. Last, we have the circular permutation. P is equal to n minus 1 factorial. This formula is used if the given problem involves arranging the objects in a circular formation. That ends our quick math tutorial. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next videos, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye!